Hello Last Walk Crew and Private Tears, this is Robo5 Life. Over to the pilot. And today I'm filming on my birthday, my 30th birthday, so I decided to do a special review this week. And this time it's going to be the Ben Spoke Descent 21 Russian Imperial Stout. Made in Canberra. Bending Spoke series. Now, where is the here we go? As it says here, 10% alcohol in a beer. Three drinks for a 375ml can. So this is a very, very strong beer. Barrel aged. I don't know if there's any blurb on this. Doesn't look like it. Drink wise, the Lord. But yeah, Russian Imperial beer always has at least 10% in their, um, in it for some reason. I'm not sure the exact reason. So I'm not gonna BS to you. But it is a very, very thin. It wasn't cheap either, I'll tell you that. I think it's like, would be about 10 bucks a can. Yeah, can for quality and outdoor enjoyment. So this, so four pack I think cost about 40 something dollars. So it wasn't cheap. <laughs> okay, now. It was 32 bucks that the bottle over brought it from. Huh. Well, I stand corrected, but still, it's not, it wasn't cheap. <laughs> now we will open her up. Go a bit dark, stout. A bit dark. My hand tends to shake a little bit, that's why I can't sort of tilt my can. My glass is too much for my tea. My hand is, my, this hand here tends to shake a little bit, see? That's why I don't like showing my right hand as much. So, so while this is um, um, surging up, I'll, this is, yes, as Roger already said, this is a Canberra based beer, um, which is only about two hours, two hours or so. South. Well, actually, um, two hours west of us. East. East. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the west, east. Yeah, we're not, we don't live in Sydney. <laughs> you don't know where ACT in Canberra is, this is Australia's capital city. Yep. A lot of um, Americans and that think it's um, Sydney, but it's definitely not Sydney's yeah, it's, capital. Yeah. Okay, so the surge is settling a bit, so I'll just pour another bit in. But first, now, I did get a question a few weeks ago, why do I point this to to a light when I'm, like when, like when I'm having a look at it? It's because I normally check for clarity and cloudiness of the actual beer, so... Yeah, that's it. Great, great, great beer reviews there too sometimes too. So, as always, I will check for clarity, which there's none to be had. It's, well, it's, a, it's a stout, or oh, darkish it's, stout. It's a Russian Imperial stout. So there's no light to be had through this. But, obviously, due to the looking at the foam, it's a very dark brown. Yeah, it's very dark brown. looks more darker brown than it appears on cameras. For some reason, cameras looks like a chocolate caramel top stout, but it's not. And also, you may also notice I've, I've got no beard anymore, because I shaved it. <laughs> yeah, so, as we continue talking, yeah, this Sorry. is it's a special edition Spending Speak series. I think this was only a very, um, like, once a year type thing in the actual, the beer. Yeah, we got a lot in the ACT, what I've heard. <sighs> yeah. So we got pretty cheap in comparison to some other places, because some places it's really, really expensive. <laughs> no, we don't live in, the, live in Sydney. It's Descent much. 20. If you want to know what it is, it's Bent Spoke, Bending Spoke Series, Descent 21. I don't know if you can get it now, but... Outside the uh, ECT Canberra region. It's only a once a year thing, so I'll probably move the um, label on this <laughs> um, glass away, because it's not... The right thing. Yeah, I tried to see the best before. So the best I can. 2022. Yep. The uh, first of first of June 2022. Oh, during the first Northern Hemisphere. Yeah. So, so they got a lot of American and Canadian subscribers on there. Ah. I don't know. So now, now we'll have a look. Very dark beer. Whoo! Smells pretty tough. <laughs> Very thick and very full body too. I'll definitely have a taste now. Yeah. I thought you'd take the clothes off. 
probably thought well, I was going to pop out my head then. No, but yeah, it's a very, it's a very strong beer. Ooh, very full body too. <laughs> very, very strong in that. Very... I will confess something. I did actually drink this before, um, a while back. Yeah, about a few years back. No, it wasn't. It's like a few weeks ago. Oh. No, about a month or so back. Wasn't it a different Ben Spoke? Nope, same beer. Was it? Yeah. I thought it was a different Cause, one. Because it was in a four pack. And so I tried to leave two for review. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Make up me. <laughs> so, and anyway. Him and my brother being out beef me up one. But anyway, so this is a very, a very strong beer. They're very full body, very strong as well. It's pretty, pretty, pretty tasty too. So, um, how would you rate it? A solid eight and a half out of ten. Same. Give us the strength. Eight and a half out of ten. Strength. Very <laughs> strong. Eleven out of ten. <laughs> yes, three drinks per per three hundred seventy-five ml can. Yeah, barrel aged. Descent yeah. twenty-one. Bending speed series. So anyway, if there's, you can find it, it's well worth a try. Yeah, there's different ones here too. There's a red one, and there's also a green one too, wasn't it, Robo for Life? Yeah, red nut. Um, yeah, they're lot, beers and... yeah, they lots. They're not as strong as this one, though. Yeah, but this is a special edition that, that you'd be looking for. Yeah, it's I a know. very. I know, but I know they've got a brother in the ACT too, don't we, man? Yes. Hi, hey, man. <laughs> That's my older brother. Or yeah. as he's known as on YouTube, Pickle Thirteen. <laughs> he yeah. doesn't have any videos, so. Yes. I was Pickle Thirteen. I thought it was Pickle Three. Well, something anyway. But anyway. Um, until next time, this is, this is, this will be a very rare occasion of having a special beer like this. But until next time, it's goodbye from me. Go him. Have a good life, and see you next time. Cheers.